I'm gonna get this guy back before I get bit. Woo you are a cranky little monkey. Gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful clutch of eggs. Are you kidding me right now? Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I have a special treat to get this day started and that is this animal right here. You guys are probably saying it's a rough scale Sambo. I mean, they are absolutely amazing, but why should I be excited? Well, the reason you should be excited is because of this. Where are you at, little guys? Hello. Oh, look at that. Little baby sandboys. I mean, look how cute. Look at how they look almost exactly the same. I mean, that is so cool. A lot of snakes, when they're born, look very different than their adults. But with a lot of sandboys, they're just little carbon copies. You did a good job, Mama. How many babies do we have in here? Let's see. We got two. Oh, come on. Oh, and she's, I hope she doesn't bite me. Oh, it looks like there's a bunch of them here. Oh my God, there's three. This is a fourth one right here. Look at how big these babies are too. Oh my gosh, they are so good. So I'm just gonna search around everywhere in here. Oh, there's number five. Oh, it looks like this is a little slug right here, a little infertile ova. That's five. Let's see what we have. Oh, I don't wanna get too close to mama's face because she's gonna bite me. Here's six. There's six. Okay, mama, can I move you so you don't bite me? Six. Is that it? Is that all there is? It looks like that might be it. Just do a real quick look right here. Make sure I didn't miss any. Nope, that looks like it. So that is absolutely a great way to start the day. Look at these cute little babies here. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love little baby sambos. And there is nothing better than finding a live birth of snakes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like getting clutches of eggs, I like cutting eggs, I love to see babies hatch out eggs, but there's just something special when you open up a cage and you just see a whole bunch of little babies. You did so good, mama. And I hope that you guys have a great start to your day. You guys say we just keep rolling with the vlog. And by the way, just to give you an idea what these guys look like before they have babies. This is another female that is gravid right now. I mean, take a look at that mama. She looks like she's gonna explode. I tell you what, that is absolutely amazing. We are super excited to finally be sending out all these Mexican black king snakes. Oh my gosh, as soon as we put them up for sale, it's like was immediately sold out, but there was one special one that I had to pick out for sure. My friend Michelle Shields, one of the people that runs my Facebook fan page. Thanks to everyone, not only all the admins that take care of that group, but also all the members of that group. You guys are absolutely amazing. They help me out with a lot of things over there. As a matter of fact, a lot of the admins are the ones that actually come up with a lot of the in the news stories over on my other channel. So thank you guys for all your love. You mean the world to me. And if you guys are interested in joining the Facebook fan group, a very positive group, they don't allow any negativity or anything like that. You can definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the description. But in the meantime, Michelle asked me to personally pick out a female Mexican black king snake for her, and I wanted to pick out one that was really beautiful. It has a couple little white freckling on its side, but other than that, it is jet black. Within no time, it's gonna turn absolutely jet black. All of those patterns gonna go away. It's so absolutely cute. So there you go, Michelle. I picked it out for you. Let me know when you get it. Wait a second, wait a second here. What is going on? What, Jessica, what is going on? Okay, so apparently they're trying to get me, have me get rid of red root. What's going on? I didn't sign up to clean up after a chicken. <laughs> after a chicken? Eric, are you going to help me out on this one? He has to do sad, all man. the cleanup because I don't want I'll clean up after it. it. I thought Jessica would like a chicken. Dude, we'll sneak it next door in the basement. I barefoot, though. <laughs> I don't want to step in chicken poop. I think Lori, now Lori and Jessica are ganging up on me and Eric it's about hard. our chicken. Come on, save the chicken. <laughs> Hashtag save the chicken. Hashtag chicken dinner. I tell you guys, I'm gonna be so bummed out when we stop collecting python eggs. It's always so exciting. What do we have today, Kelsey? We have a normal bread to an enchi pin banana. Okay, an enchi pin banana, that is great. You guys know I love enchi pins. I love enchi bananas and pinstripe bananas are great. So let's go ahead and see how many eggs she has. Oh, she's got one out. She's a really dark animal too, isn't she? That should really be good for the banana stuff. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful clutch of eggs. Are you kidding me right now? Got a couple little eggs that will candle and then this clutch looks beautifully stuck together. I think it'll be short enough to fit in there without taking an egg out. We'll have to wait to see till Kelsey gets him out of here and puts him in there. What'd you get bit by? 
Oh, a spotted python. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the head, I see it on this one. Oh my gosh, that is funny. You can always tell an animal person. You're scratched up, you got all kinds of stuff. All right, let's see how many eggs we have here. We have, we have two, four, six, eight, nine good eggs. That is absolutely amazing. It looks like they're in there really good. Just have to candle these two eggs here to make sure they're up and we're good to go. Cool. All right, thank you so much, Kelsey. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Take a look at this lavender California king snake. Now, this is a type of albino. It's kind of like a tyrosinase positive albino in a way, and the fact that it has the ruby eyes, but it still has that kind of purplish look. And again, it is an albino, but it is not compatible with the normal albinos. You know, it's been a while since I've just looked at a bunch of colubrids, and I'm telling you what, there are some beautiful animals that we are bringing up for future breeders. I am getting more and more excited about colubrids lately. You know, I always tell you guys, I've been a colubrid guy my entire career of breeding snakes even though my first snake was a burmese python after that i was really a corn snake and king snake and milk snake guy for probably the first 15 years i was working with other stuff like boas and pythons but i really was known for my colubrids so i figured i would just take a few seconds and just show you guys a bunch of colubrids just do a little scroll through some of the beautiful animals that we're raising up You know, guys, I'm kind of facing a little bit of a dilemma here. Of course, Red Rooster has kind of won over my heart. The last couple days, I've had so much joy just seeing him kind of bounce around with Savvy. And just, it's just an amazing animal. But with that being said, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Lori and Jessica do have a point. I mean, what am I going to do with a chicken running around BHB? It can't really go in the reptile zoo. And even worse, that it's probably a rooster and is going to be making all kinds of noise. So in my entire life, I've always been really obsessive I mean go figure right but the truth is is I get attached to things I love animals and in no time I fall in love with every animal I meet and I want to keep everything because I think they're so amazing and I've never had a chicken I've never experienced a chicken before and I tell you what it's absolutely amazing but I don't know what to do. I mean, again, Lori isn't being mean. Like, you can't keep it. She's just being realistic. She knows me. She's been with me for 30 years. So she certainly knows how attached I get to everything and how obsessed I get. And she's probably right. But I'm here to tell you guys, I will not feed Red Rooster off. There's no way this animal is going to get fed to a snake. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep him or not. But... If I don't, I'll find a good home for them. I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean, again, the rational side of me says, you know, they've got a point. I probably shouldn't have a chicken in a reptile breeding center. But then there's that kind of passionate animal guy says, look at how cute it is. And it's amazing how much he loves Savvy. But the truth is, Savvy probably doesn't really care about the chicken. The chicken just wants a mother. And Savvy is the perfect choice because it's the only choice that he can. I mean, so, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. You guys, discuss it amongst yourself. And let's uh, come to an agreement together. Guys, I couldn't be more excited about this. These are the Indian smooth scale Sambos. And of course, this is an adult right here and she is loaded up with babies. Oh, I'm so excited. And then this is the daddy right here. This of course is a sunset. Indian smooth scale Sambo, and it's kind of a polygenic thing. And even the normal Indian smooth scales are born with this orange snake with like kind of a brown black banding. And then as they get older, they kind of turn this kind of dull brown color. I still think they're absolutely amazing, but the fact that you breed them into sunset, they'll actually stay more orange even as adults. And we have a handful of adult females that are gonna be having babies pretty soon. So I cannot wait that we have those. I mean, we had the little tiny rough scales earlier today. These big baby Indian smooth skills are born I'm gonna absolutely freak out and here, of course, is another live-bearing animal that should be having babies anytime. Of course, this is a hat for leucistic Colombian rainbow. And here's Daddy right here, this beautiful white leucistic rainbow ball. I absolutely love this animal. As a matter of fact, I don't know that I should be saying this, but if I had to pick 10 animals to keep, I could only keep 10 animals, I think this one would actually make the cut because not only is he absolutely gorgeous, but I love his personality. But I'm going to be honest with you, if I had to pick 10 animals and only 10 animals, I'd be in pretty big trouble because because there's absolutely no way that I could actually narrow it down to 10 animals. But nevertheless, he's a beautiful animal and she's about to have a bunch of beautiful white babies. As I don't 
know why, but I have recently just got this like enthusiasm like I haven't had in a long time for reptiles. You guys know that I've always loved them, but it's almost like a kid-like obsession that I've had this last little bit. I think that the reptile zoo is what's kind of spurred it back on. Listen, I've always loved working with reptiles and I've always loved the breeding side of it and I'm always excited about every day with these guys, but lately it's been different. I mean, it's like I wake up in the morning and I just can't wait to be around these guys. I'm just so excited about what's going to happen next door. But you know, it's really about my love of all animals in all honesty. And actually, tomorrow I head out on a little journey. Going to be heading to Chicago to a to a convention. It's called Pondemonium that my buddy Greg from Aquascape is putting on. Gonna meet up with some cool YouTubers like Jay over at Prehistoric Pets, Stanley the Dirt Monkey, Deer Meat for Dinner, and a bunch of other cool people that I'm really excited about. And then I actually get to go the next day and play with some elephants. And I'm gonna do a whole vlog about how I feel about the elephant thing. It's gonna be a little bit tricky, but I wanna really look at that for sure. But in the meantime, I am just absolutely loving this guy. And of course, this tiger Amazon is definitely Definitely an amazing animal. I love it to death. So I just thought I would share with you guys this kind of unbelievable enthusiasm that I've had over the last little bit. And I hope that when you guys come visit me at the Reptarium, you'll kind of feel it and I'll be able to just really share it with you. So I'm gonna get this guy back before I get bit. Woo you are a cranky little monkey. And with that said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up at the shop and head on home. I'm home and I don't know where anyone is, to be honest with you, but I am out here with my tortoises here. This is the female right here hanging out, and you can see that Speedy and the other male is in the hide over here, but someone actually reached out to me and said that it can be a little dangerous to keep Sulcata and Leopard tortoises together. Even though they come from the same region, I guess there's a chance they could fight. Listen, guys, I'm not too big to sit here and tell you that I'm some kind of an expert, and I know I'm learning all the time, and if I should keep the Sulcata and leopard tortoise is separate. I certainly don't want anything bad to happen, so I think I'm going to go ahead and separate these guys off, keep Speedy on one side, and let the leopard tortoises go on the other side, because these guys are so amazingly cool. I definitely don't want anything to happen to them. And with that said, I think I'm going to just kind of hang around the pond, enjoy Phoebe and Zuzi out here in my fish, and wait for my family to show up wherever they might be. I'm going to go ahead and shut down the vlog, and let you guys know that I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day, evening, or whenever you happen to be watching it. And as always, your support does mean the world to me, and I truly do love you guys so much. Do me a couple favors before I get out of here. Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video, which is every day, seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to someone today, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.